Hello, happy new years. I hope that you're having a wonderful day wherever you may be. And to kickstart 2024, I really wanted my first video to be my 2023 favorites. Uh, we are dialing it back a little bit to the past year, but I wanted to talk to you about my 2023 favorites because this is the year that I really, I really got to try out different planning system. It's my first year of trying out fountain pens, which is amazing. Beforehand, I was predominantly using the six ring planner system. However, that wasn't working out for me anymore. I've used that for like the past five years. It wasn't working out for me anymore at some point because I, I just find that I wasn't reaching for it anymore. And I was always switching out the inserts, which is not great because now the end of 2023 when that happened i didn't have anything to like really look back upon the archival system was not great it's just loose leaf paper at the end of the day but anyways let's get started and i'm really excited to talk to you about my fountain pen favorites so when i first started getting into fountain pens which i'm still there i'm still relatively new I really, I really love the sailor pens, predominantly because my nickname is actually Tintin and the little sailboat is the, you know, is the, is the logo? No, it's not the logo, it's the symbol of it. And, you know, as you know, the sailor fountain pens, they are, they have this like, you can't really see in this one, but they have that sailor finial that I really, really love. The styles, they tend to be more minimalistic, but to me, they're quite beautiful. I have three so far, and I have the Miketsu, this is the Kisan, and this is the Vega. These are Sailor Pro Gear Slims, and they are part of the Shikiyori collection. They're both 14K gold, and this is um, Champagne Gold 21 Karat Sailor Pro Gear in Kisan and this is really the one that I wanted to talk to you guys about because I feel like it's so early on but I I think I think I found my grail pen just because you know when you love something so much that you don't feel the need to go out and buy more this is what happened to me when I got this pen at first I thought that the pilot custom a23 would be my grail pen which that is still in my wish list but i'm not really i'm not in a rush to get it or anything it can be somewhere happen this year maybe or maybe even towards the end of the year or maybe even 2025 i'm not in a rush to get that pen but this writes like like butter with a bit of feedback so maybe not like butter but it's really smooth with a bit of feedback and i I love the feedback aspect of Sailor, but I love the fact that it's both feedbacky with smoothness. And red is actually my favorite color, but a lot of the red pens that I found, they were they were too much. And I know that's weird coming from someone whose favorite color is red, but I found that they're a little bit in your face. I like this one because it's a bit like elegant. And I really I love the finial of this. I love the fact that there's like this like mint green surrounded by a clear body. I think it's beautiful. And this is the part of their Moroccan mint tea series that was released at the tail end of 2023. So um, there are two, one is green, one is the red. I prefer the red because again my favorite color and something about this pen is so elegant to me and as you can see like the the pen cap is a little bit you know translucent which i love i love seeing the nib but i don't really like demonstrators where it's like full fully clear there is an exception it's not part of my favorites but there is one exception to that and i'll i'll show you after this one but this is sailor pro gear slim and I love the fact that it's champagne gold because I heard that Sailor don't make that much champagne gold and if I want to get a limited edition, I love that, you know? Um, yeah, I, thought I love this pen so much. Definitely, maybe, is it too early? 
to be saying I found my girl pen. I started collecting this like late September, so might be too early. This is not a favorite, but because I mentioned I don't like demonstrator pens, but I have an exception. This is that exception, the Twisby Iris. I'm not gonna get into it, but I love this so much because of the piston filling mechanism. So there it is. Ex this is an extra fine. Beautiful. I, I find this to be so beautiful. And let's get into the inks. I have two favorites. I did really get into inks once I started collecting fountain pens. But for me, I find that once I find like a pen combo, my favorite pen and a favorite ink that goes along with it, I tend to just stick to those. They become exclusively inked. So for example, my Sailor Vega and my Cassandra Vega is exclusively inked with Ferris Wheel Press, Tanzanite Sky. And this one is exclusively inked with Sailor Monio Kuzu. This is not, I love this pen and I would actually go and rebuy it, but I don't know if I would consider this to be like a 2023 favorites just because the Kassan exists. If I didn't have this, I would probably say this is my favorite, but the Kassan is just up there for me, you know? Anyways, so the fountain pen inks that are my favorite, this is the Ferris Wheel Press, 38 milliliters in Tanzanite Sky. It's a really beautiful bluish purple, like very dark bluish purple. And if you know the color tanzanite, it's quite similar to that, the ink. And there it is. Such beautiful packaging, but I threw away the box packaging because it's just creating clutter. I didn't like that. I have a little bit of um, a desk setup where I can show my favorite inks or all my inks in general. I don't have that many. I did sold like four of them. So... Maybe one day I'll get to film that one for you. That's Tanzanite Sky. This is Sailor Manio Kuzu. And I love a good, like, burgundy purplish red. So this is the a little swatch of it. As you can see, this is the Sailor Manio Kuzu. And this is the Sailor um, Pro Gear Slim inked with Ferris Wheel Press. Tanzanite Sky. If you're looking for a really good like office friendly, professional setting friendly kind of ink, I definitely recommend the Tanzanite Sky. Just because I think it's beautiful that it's different, but you know, it is that dark blue ink at the end of the day that is perfection. So moving this one away. So like I said at the beginning of this video, the whole six ring planning system just was not working out for me anymore. And it's the year that I really got into Travelers because I wanted, an ar I wanted a proper archival system for these things and I wanna be able to finish things. I felt like the six ring planner was so open-ended that, that it was so like, I can always switch it out, the inserts, and I can always change the layouts to the point where I was not consistent, to the point where I kept switching it out. I didn't finish anything, which at the tail end of 2023, I said I would like to finish something. And I did some research and I, want, I found the Travelers system and I found the system October. And I did a lot of research. This is like the perfect one for me. I really love the blue. My heart was just set on the blue. And the, the leather smell is also incredible in my opinion. So I wanted to talk to you about three inserts or at least two to three inserts. The two of them are more so the same thing really. And the first one is the sticker release paper, which I feel so kiddish every time i get excited about stickers but i really it's so much fun i love it and i love like 
I have these stickers, these ones in particular, that every time I journal, I would put like my mood of the day. Let's see if it's in here. I don't know where I put that. But there's like a certain mood tracker for these like little characters and I love, I love flipping through them. Sometimes I'll flip through and like, oh wow, that day I was particularly hungry for some reason. But I love these because I use actually use these to decorate my agenda, my planner. And I love this specifically because before I got the... This is the Traveler's Company sticker release paper in regular. Before I got these, I just had a bunch of like stickers lying around and every time I would journal it would be so messy like it's not ideal and i love this because i can flip through and it's clean it keeps my desk tidy which i love so there is that my next favorite that i'm, I'm gonna talk to you about it kind of together because the inserts are more or so the same thing so these are the traveler's company lightweight paper and I believe these are 120 to 130 pages each and I love them. So this is my journal that I will not be flipping through because, you know, it's a journal. But there it is. I started this one late October actually, but it's going strong. I'm I'm like 60% finished this agenda. And this is the same thing, but this is the Yosaka stationery collaboration. And I love, I love this because as you can tell with my inserts, I have a bit of a habit sticking, sticking stuff on it because I don't like an empty page except for this pink because I love the color pink, but it's like, it's fine. I'm going to keep that blank. But for the most part, I, I, I put stickers in them because I don't like a blank page. <laughs> so there's that. I really really love this because it's very the back the back illustration is so similar to a painting idea that I've had for quite a while that I have yet to to you know to actually do there's this one this this actual notebook was released much later on but this was an idea since August 16 of 2023 and I, yes I have yet to paint this but it's similar in in my eyes at least looks like that this is just a rough draft obviously once i paint this there will be more colors but i love the tomoe river paper that's inside both of these because it's so thin it's so thin and when when i really started journaling and obviously i've had quite a few of them in my life the main problem that i've had is actually the archival system they were quite thick and when let's say i don't travel often but you know when i have to go outside and spend x amount of days somewhere else it's not my home i find that like having like i had a whole stack of agendas of like you know notebooks and they were quite heavy they were thick and I really, this is why I love the Traveler's Journal because it is like, you know, it's cohesive enough that I can go in and finish certain notebooks, but it's, you know, they have Tomoe River paper, it's lightweight, I can, usually this is actually, I, I took it out, but, oops, that fell, but look at that, I can just carry this and with my Hobonichi A6 and I'm good to go compared to like the five stacks of notebooks that I had. For 2024, my goal was to really dial down everything because I did so much trial and error in 2023 that I just, I just wanted to stick to one planning system, but I want that planning system to be cohesive enough, but to also be, you know, a little bit more malleable that I can change the inserts if I wanted to so there is that so actually the last thing on this favorite list is this is my brick shop pen koozie that that I found from not I found that I that I've 
that I found via Jobs Journal and Abby C. I really love watching their videos because they're so like aesthetically pleasing and I I love their I love how they put things together and how creative they are but at the same time so functional so I love watching their videos and this is something that they they you know they recommended and I was hesitant because you know I'm in Canada the shipping was like 35 bucks and I'm like I don't know I don't know this was like 20 to 30 dollars Canadian and the shipping was just too much but this was the perfect one because my this is my first sailor and I don't know if I'm trying to get the camera to pick this up but there are some scratches I don't know if you can see that but there are some scratches because I've used like a regular pen pouch and it was just bumping into everything and there were scratches so <laughs> yeah I I thought this was the perfect perfect one and I didn't want to get those like leather bounds because I feel like they're not really that protective I don't know if I'm wrong but I feel like this is the best option you can have if you want something thin light compact and it's not you know it really protects the pen because there's individual slots for them and I feel like three is more than enough for me I have three say I okay I have five fountain pens but here's a roundup but I will be doing a little video about them so keep a watch for that but the, I only have like five pens so there's not that many truly so put that away and that's it that's my 2023 favorites Oh, actually, one last thing, one last thing. This is the, as you can see, I have some sort of habits here, and this is the, my running to-do list. This is not gonna, this is not in my 2023 favorites, but it's something that I've been love, I, I really love to use so far in 2024. And this is the Hambonichi A6, and my favorite is actually this thing. This is part of my 2023 favorites because before I had the Hobonichi, I had the Stalogy A6 and I've used this. And I've used the Stalogy A6 as if it was a Hobonichi A6 as like a daily writer. And I love this because it's like, it's a page, it's like two in one for me. It's a page marker and I can stick one of these in it and it tracks my habits and my running to-do list for that week so that's it anyways thank you so much for spending your time here with me and i hope you have a wonderful day ahead of you if you have any video suggestions i would be more than happy to make them for you and that's about it thank you and have a good rest of your week bye oh uh, don't forget to comment like and subscribe if if you like this video. Okay, bye.